Konnichiwa. Hello, everybody. Today we're continuing our series from the Gospel of John called Encounters with Jesus. Today our topic is Jesus, our Teacher and Shepherd. Let's begin with a word of prayer, and I'll pray in English now and Japanese after the message. Mazu oinorishite, soshite imo wa eigo de oinorishite message no hato, nihongo de oinoritashimasu. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and for the wonders of your grace that you're bringing us into a new year. And we do pray that you would just watch over each and every one in this new year, that you would protect them and lead them and guide them and bless them. It's a difficult time for so many people with the COVID situation and uh, people getting sick and having to take all kinds of precautions to avoid that. And a lot of people who've lost work and lost income. May you just extend your hand of mercy and bless these people and give them your grace, Lord. Lead and guide in the message that it might be uh, useful for your kingdom, that it might bring you glory, and that it might help us all to walk more closely with you. Watch over us all and bless in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, today Today we're going to pick up various topics and talk about them, but let's just begin with the wedding at Cana, or the marriage at Cana, as this particular painting is indicating. So, so this is a painting by Bondini in the 14th century. He did. Uh, he did a lot of works. It's pretty simple in a lot of ways, but also there's a lot to look at if you take some time to look at the painting. So, ma kantan no e de arinagera mo komakai toku ni yoiro no moshiroi koto mo arimasu. Shikashi, kyo wa watashi tachi wa ano mutsu no utsu wa no koto, sore wa migi no hou ni arimasu. So, shite hiesi no koto o Today we're mostly going to talk about those uh, vessels that are going to be full of water in a moment. They're on the bottom right, and that Jesus is on the far left of the painting sitting at the table. Let's get started. And this is from John chapter 2, starting at verses 1 and 2. On the third day a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus, uh, and Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. Now we notice that Jesus' mother, when we read this story, uh, seems to have a role in the wedding, in the management, and taking care of things. And that's probably why Jesus and his disciples are there also. It's probably a relative of Mary. So, When the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, They have no more wine. Dear woman, why do you involve me? Jesus replied, My time has not yet come. Now this last phrase, my time has not yet come, is repeated over and over again in John until we finally get to chapter 17 when the time has come. And John uses this to tell us that everything has a proper time and that Jesus is waiting for the proper time uh, for his final days before he's going to the cross, uh, before he dies on the cross. 
この私の時はまだ来ていません。最後の方の言葉ですけれども、これは日本、ヨハネによる福音書で繰り返された言葉ですね。シエスは何度も時はまだ来ていないとおっしゃって、そして17章に入ると時が来たとおっしゃいます。これは、シエスは私たちに教えてくださるのは、すべてのものはふさわしい時期があって、ふさわしい時があります。そして、その17章の方では、もうシエスの最後の時に十字架行きの時となります。His mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. And we see there, his mother has authority over the servants. しかし母は召使いたちにこの人が何が言いつけたらその通りにしてくださいと言った。そこでイエスの母マリアは召使いに対する権威を持っているようですので、まあ、親戚の結婚式でしょう。はい、次はこの26章、22章6節。Nearby stood six stone water jars, the kind used by the Jews for ceremonial washing, each holding from 20 to 30 gallons. So they're, they're big, aren't they? 20 to 30 gallons each, six of them. So, when you are a Judea Jin Tachi, Kiyome ni Mochiru, Ishi no Mizugame ga Mutsu oite atta. Izuri mo ni naishi san metoretes iri no mono de aru. Chinami ni kono. メトレス、メトレテスというのは、一つのメトレトスは三十九リットルぐらいだそうです。そして、それで六つがあって、この量はかなり多いですね。そして、この六つの石の水がめというのは、多くの解釈によれば人間のことを指している。まずその数字は六。それは聖書の中によく人間のことを指して、そして水がめで、それは人間は硬い、その仲間、心は冷たいということを語っているそうです。And the six stone water jars, many interpreters believe represent man. You know, first of all, the number six is used in the Bible quite often to represent humankind. And second, the, the stone water jars, you know, they're, they're Hard on the outside, but inside they're cold, you know. So that's kind of, you know, human beings often, you know, on the outside are, are severe and the inside their, their heart is cold. It's very sad. We need to be refreshed. And Jesus said to the servants, Fill the jars with water. So they filled them up to the brim. Yes, ga mizu ga me ni mizu o ippa irine sai to iwariru to. Meshi tsukai tachi wa. Kame no fuchi mare mizu o mitashita. So, mizu ga ori desu ne. Kore wa mo stain grass no mado desu ne. Totemo kirei desu. So, no image desu. So, here's an, an image of that action, you know, in a stained glass window at Holy Trinity Anglican Church in Williamston. Kore wa Holy Trinity、uh, Anglican no kyokai de、uh, stain grass ga dekto mono desu ne. Then he told them, Now draw some out and take it to the master of the banquet. And they did so. Yes, wa, sa, so de o kunde, in kai no se wa yaku no tokore, motte ikinasai. To i warita, meshitsukai tachi wa hakonde ita. Se wa yaku wa budo shu ni kuwate mizu no ajimi o shita. Kono budo shu ga doko kare kite no ka. 水を汲んだ召使いたちは知っていたが、世話役は知らなかったので、歯の向こうを呼んだ。And the master of the banquet tasted the water that had been turned into wine. He did not realize where it had come from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew. Then he called the bridegroom aside and said, Everyone brings out the choice wine first, and then the cheaper wine after the guests have had too much to drink. But you have saved the best till now. Ita, dare de mo, haji me ni, yoe budo shu o dashi, yoe ga moate tokro ni, oto toto mono o dasu mono desu ga. Anato wa yoe budo shu o imamare, 
とって分かりました。そこで私たちは、イエスは驚くべきの奇跡をなさった水をこのワインブドウ酒に壊れました。それは素晴らしいです。So we see Jesus did this amazing, startling miracle of turning the water into wine. そして、その武道酒は、世界一の素晴らしいワインであり、みんなは喜ぶでしょう。And that wine is the best wine in the world, and everybody is no doubt joyful. And that's one of the points here I think that John is making, is that wine is a symbol of joy in the scriptures. 聖書の中、このブドウ酒ワインはよく喜びの印として使われていることがあります。ご覧ください。これは詩編4章、4編7節ですね。あなたは私の心に喜びをくださいました。それは穀物と新しいブドウ酒が豊かにあるときにも勝っています。つまり、神様がくださる喜びは一番素晴らしい喜びです。In Psalm 4:7 we read, for example, You have filled my heart with greater joy than when there grain and new wine abound. Greater joy. The joy the Lord gives us, that God gives us, is the greatest joy of all, much more than anything else. This, the first of his miraculous signs, Jesus performed at Cana in Galilee. He thus revealed his glory and his disciples put their faith in him. イエスはこの最初の印をガラダへの金で行ってその栄光を表されたそれで弟子たちはイエスを信じたこれは驚くべきの奇跡ですがヨハネによる福音書だけに載せられたものです This is an amazing miracle but it's only in the Gospel of John 実はこれはヨハネによる福音書の特徴の一つです。他の福音書、つまり、マタイ、マルク、ルクによるの福音書に入っていない内容は、ヨハネによる福音書にたっぷり入れています。And this is one of the distinctions of the Gospel of John is, we find a lot of material such as this story that is not in the other Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke. That's only found in John. Why? Well, it's just a theory, but a lot of people think that probably this gospel was written last and that John actually had the other three gospels and that he read them and that he wanted to write his own, but he wanted it to be different. So he deliberately chose a lot of materials that are not in the other gospels. That's the theory, although we don't know for sure. But, Tashkani, Shiruaki de Wanai d e s k i d i m o よくある説は、このヨハネは、ヨハネによる福音書は、最後に書かれた福音書で、この作者ヨハネは、もう別の福音書を読んだことがあって、そして彼が考えているのは、あ、私も福音書を書きたいです。でも、これはもう他の福音書に載せられていない内容を書こうと思ったことです。その説です。はい。じゃあ、そして、これは、シエスは、その、栄光を表されて、弟子たちは、イエスを信じた。その、イエスの弟子たちは、最初に信じたのは、多分その、奇跡を見たことで。でも、その後もと、確かな信仰も持つようになります。So, it also tells us here that Jesus revealing his glory and the disciples believed in him. And I think we see that, At the beginning, the disciples mostly believed in Jesus because they saw his miracles. But as time goes on, they will eventually have a, a more solid foundation even than that for their faith. So let's go on and look at something else. Let's go to the next chapter, John chapter 3. Ma, Suzuki ma shou, Yohana ni yoru fukun shou, san shou, e. John 3 1. Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. A member of the Jewish ruling council. Sate Pharisai Hani Zoksuru Nikodemo to you, Hitoga Ita, Yudai Jin Tachi no Gi in the Atta. So, Kono Pharisai Hano Hito Tachi wa Mo Binkyo ni Tsioi, Demo Choto Kibishi, Hadeshtene, 
それでみんながこの生きてこの生きてその生きても守らなければならないという教えがこのフェルサイ派か,からよく出てきました。Now, the Pharisees were a group that they, they studied hard, but they were also pretty severe, and they were always telling people, oh, there's this rule and that rule and another rule, and you must obey all of these rules. So they're kind of severe, but they do know their、uh, scripture,、uh, and they studied it a lot, okay? Now, this name Nicodemus is kind of interesting because when you go into Japanese, sometimes people have a little trouble remembering that name. このニコデモというのはちょっと面白いことがあって、たまに人々はその名前を、その日本語を覚えるのはちょっと難しいかもしれませんね。このような話もありますね。もう新しい宣教師は来日してから一生懸命日本語を勉強して、ある日、教会でこの箇所について教えていました。説教していました。So, there's a story about a new missionary. He comes to Japan and he studies very hard. He's Japanese and stuff. And then he gets to a certain point and he's at church and he, he's giving a message on this very passage that we have here in John 3. And this is what he says. Kare wa ko imashita. Neko de mo skuware na kereba narimasen. So, ste tabun kaishi wa choto konna ni natta kana. Neko de mo inu wa do de shou ka to ka. So he makes a mistake in his Japanese. Instead of saying Niko demo, he says Neko demo, which sounds like even cats have to be saved and maybe caused a little con-、uh, confusion in his congregation there. What about dogs, you know, if cats have to be saved? Okay, let's go on. Just a little bit more. Ni sets. Aru yo, Yesu no moto ni kite ita. Dabi watashi domo wa. あなたが神のもとから来られた教師であることを知っています。神が共におられるのでなければ、あなたのなさるような印を誰も行うことはできないからです。So, John 3 2. He came to Jesus at night and said, Rabbi, we know you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one could perform the miraculous signs that you are doing if God were not with him. In reply, Jesus declared, I tell you the truth, no one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. Yesu wa kotaete iwarita, hakiri ite oku. Ito wa arate ni umare na kereba, kami no kuni o miru koto wa dekinai. Sorry de Yesu shi Yesu wa mo chokset teki ni kono niko demo ni daiji no koto o hanashite. ね、so, Jesus is going directly in, you know, telling、uh, Nicodemus something very, very important. What is Jesus saying? Jesus was saying that knowing the Bible and following the rules is not enough. You have to have a real change of heart. So, この単なるの画家はこのようにこれを描いていました。So, we have this、uh, painter Tanner. He, he painted it this way with Christ and Nicodemus on a rooftop. I think that's a little bit interesting.、Uh, most people who painted it painted in some little room, you know, in the dark with just a candle. But it could very well have been a rooftop because In Jerusalem, in that part of the world, it was very common for people to go up on the roof to meet with people and to relax in the evening when it was cool. So, the Tana Gaka wa, mo, Yes Christo, kono Niko demo wa, okujo de, hanashiata to you, koto o egai mashte ne, kore wa, kyomi bukai, tato omoimas. So, oku no Gaka wa, kono nanika chi sai no hea, rosoku ipon dake no hea. これを描いていますけれども、タンナはあ屋上で行われたかな。それはエルスレムとかそのあもう地方はもう屋上で人と話すことはよくありました。特に夜涼しくなってあ屋上にいて話しましょう。私はこのイメージが好きです。I, I like this image of it. Verse 4 
How can a man be born when he is old? Nicodemus asked. Surely he cannot enter a second time into his mother's womb to be born. Nicodemus wa itta. Toshi o totto mono ga doshite umareru koto ga dekimashou. Mo ichido haha oya no tainai ni haite umareru koto ga dekiru de shou ka. Sukare wa aru hito wa mo kore wa Nicodemus wa chotto so some people think, you know, it seems like Nicodemus is being pretty sarcastic, and maybe that's right, or maybe he's just saying, I don't understand, please, please explain. Anyway, Jesus answered, I tell you the truth, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born of water and the Spirit. イエスはお答えになった。はっきり言っておく。誰でも水と霊と匂っていうまでなければ、神の国に入ることはできない。そこでもあの霊的なその内の深いところから変われないと神様の御国を見ることはできないという教えです。And here also it's the idea that you you have to be born from within. You have to be renewed from within a new spirit in order to enter the kingdom of God. Now it says born of water, and I think that probably just refers to the natural human birth, you know, at the time if you're, uh, that you are, are born. Uh, some people think it refers to baptism, but I don't really think that's uh, the right interpretation. So, mizu to niyote umariru koto mo arimasu kero, kono mizu によるの生まれは多分実は自身の母の体内からの生まれを指していると思います。もうそれはもう洗礼を指していると思う人もいますけれども、私は掃除ないと考えます。さあ次はあの最後の晩餐のことをちょっとだけ見てみましょう。and next, we're going to look at the Last Supper in just a little bit. And of course, this is a very famous uh, Da Vinci painting. これは、すごく有名なダヴィンチによるの絵ですけれども。この所に入りますね。十三章三節から。Let's start in uh, chapter 13, verse 3. Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God. So he got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing, and wrapped a towel around his waist. And after that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. Now, we're going to skip over a little bit that happens with Peter here and go on to verse 12. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to his place. Do you understand what I have done? He asked him. ふたたび責任についてわれた。私があなた方に従うことがわかるか。それは良い質問ですね。とても大事な質問。私たちはイエスがなさったことを分かっていますか。もっと考えて、もっと精神を学んで、イエスがなさったことを理解ができるように。それ
And I think that's something that we continue to search our Bibles, we continue to study, we continue to pray, hoping to really understand what Jesus has done for us. But in this place, it continues. You call me teacher and Lord, and rightly so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. Now, some churches take this very literally and they hold a, a ceremony, a foot washing ceremony or something periodically, often once a year. So, kore o totomo moji dori ni tote mo kyo kai de ni ni ikai suri tomo ni kai shiki o hirai te ashiu no shiki mata senzoku shiki to ite tagai ni ashi horao koto ga arimas. Shikashi, watashi wa kono I think the meaning is actually deeper than washing one another's feet in some kind of ritual. I think it's just an example that we need to remember of how we need to serve one another in all things. So, so no, uh, Context. Well, the context is like this. In verse 50, chapter 15, verse 12, not long after that, Just a little after verse 12, not long after that, Just a little after verse 12, not long after that, Just a little after verse 12, not long after that, Just a little after verse 12, not it's an example of how to bring love into action. This is all the way back in chapter 1, verse 29, but let's take a look. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. So, on the Old Testament, they had always the custom, the, the rule of sacrificing animals, especially sheep. So this is saying that Jesus is going to become a sacrifice for sin. And of course, that is pointing to the cross. But what's very interesting is Jesus is both the lamb and the shepherd. In the same gospel, in chapter 10, verse 14, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. So he gives himself for us on the cross to take care of the sheep that have been trusted to him as the good shepherd.
しているのと同じである。私は羊のために命を捨てる。つまり、羊飼いは私たちの代わりに死んでくださることなんです。ご自分の手に委ねられた羊は、死へそそれを守るために、私たちを守るために、十字架行きの道を歩んでくださるのです。So, 今日私たちはいろいろ箇所をピックアップして、いろいろことをあ話しましたけれども、まとめが必要かもしれません。簡単に。So today we've just picked up various ideas from different places, and I'd just like to bring those together for a moment. シエスは私たちの良い先生、私たちの良い羊飼いである。Jesus is our good teacher and our good shepherd.And what teachings have we seen today? 今日の教えは何かありましたかもう、まず、喜びに関して。それは、シエスとの関係は、喜びに至る道であり、神様は私たちに素晴らしい喜びを与えてくださったことを、心に望んでおられるのです。それは、ヨハネはこれを福音書の初めの方に書きました。この福音書は、喜びのメッセージであることを指しているのです。Well, first of all, in the teachings, the first one we looked at was joy. And the idea there was that as we come to Jesus and walk with him, we receive joy because God wants to give us great joy. And John places this very first as the miracles in his gospel are arranged so that he can get that message out there. This gospel is a message of joy, of wonderful joy. And next we find the idea right there within it of the idea of the right time. Everything has a right time, and Jesus is waiting for the right time. And we often find that we want something, but maybe it's not the right time yet, and God is saying, please wait a little while longer. Sigiwa kono. ふすわしい時の話がありました。その実はその中にありました。含まれていましたね。これは私たちに伝えるのは、どんなものでもふすわしい時がある。で私たちはよく祈って一生懸命願って、私がこれを欲しいと、これが欲しいと言っていますけれども、多分神様は、あ,あのものをあなたに与えるのは、まだふすわしい時が来ていないということもありました。それで私たちは年代も習うのです。And this idea of the right time, you know, as we're praying for this and we don't receive it, maybe God's saying it's not the right time, we learn to be more patient. And then there's the idea with Nicodemus of the need for spiritual birth. That study and following your rules is never quite enough. We have to actually Be born again. We have to have a renewal from the inside welling up for us to enter the kingdom of God. So, the Nicodemo to you, Hanashi no Nakani, so no day taking the Umari no Hanashi ga arimashita. So, they were Uchi kara kaite, Utashita to a Atarashi mono ni narukoto, sashti mas. So, they de Nanka, Binkyo ste, Binkyo ste, Okiti o Mamote iku koto wa. 十分ではありません。まだ、霊的のうちの方からの生まれが必要です。そして次は、愛し合うこと。そして、その愛は、行動で表す必要があります。私たちは互いに愛し合うのは、言葉だけ、感情だけではありません。行動もとても大事です。And next we have the idea of love and loving action. And the idea there that we have to demonstrate our love for one another, not only in words or in feelings, but also in action, a loving action to serve one another. The guy ni mo taske ao koto ga totomo daiji desu. Ja, oinori shimasu. And this time I'll pray in Japanese. Yes, Christo chichi naru kami sama, anato wa kono atarashi toshi o taite kudasari. 私たちはこの年こそあなたの栄光のために用いることができるように助けて導きください。また今年こそ一人一人を祝福してください。あなたとのより親しい関係を持つことができるように
一人一人そのご家族もご親戚、隣人をお守りください。祝福してください。今年はもう、あ去年、去年は大変な辛いことたくさんありましたけれども、今年の冬もちょっとあるかもしれませんけれども、これを乗り越えて、もう喜びに溢れる人生ができるように、あ助けて、その道を教えてください。シエスの尊い皆によってお祈りいたします。アーメン。